it's Mercy here from Dal Riata. Welcome to another weekly summary. Uh, this is uh, the format I'm going to use actually in the future because it's an awful lot easier for me to uh, just sit and listen to my own voice, which I clearly love doing, uh, rather than typing, which I clearly don't like doing. Um, uh, also because the things I write in the re weekly summary always uh, invariably get lost really quickly after reset. So I'm going to whip through, uh, you. Well, it's going to be good for you guys because you can see the process uh, by which I manage um, the, the membership of Dal Riata, uh, and you can agree or disagree with me, but um, at least you'll understand what I'm doing. Um, I'll talk a little bit about uh, Guild Wars this week, run through the event we've had, talk about the Mystic, uh, and do promotions and demotions. So it's all, all really going to be here. Um, just a few pointers. Um, again, I repeat these over and over again, but this is for people who haven't watched my videos before. Uh, look at my medals up the top there. Oh, those are, that's, that's such a good combo to have as your general, um, general just just load of load of medals. So um, medals of um, medals of seasons. Uh, they give plus four to a life uh, uh, attack and armor. Um, the other the other combo I use is for my Rowan team, which is uh, my fast team and my my um, delve uh, the the daily delve I do for just to farm. Uh, I'll use three medals of guard. Um, you'll also see that I've got a whole bunch of other medals of guard. So please please stop stop buying that uh, red um, epic task that gives you a medal of guard. For goodness sake. Um, you know, if, if I've got eight medals of guard you know, and, I, and I really don't play Explore a great deal except in gnome weekends, there'll be guys like Edward and stuff who have dozens and dozens of these things. Nobody needs medals of guard. If you're in our guild, you're at least level 400. We're about to put that up to 500. Yeah, um, you, you know, there's, you've gone, done all your kingdoms. There's no way you don't have three medals of guard already. Uh, and medals of guard are completely useless when it comes to upgrading the troops because they're, they're worth so they're this is so worthless um so please don't don't you that, that's the the red epic task is the one you want to do last and it just really drives me a little bit batty every time i see that so um that's one little shout before we get into the week the other thing is is um uh, uh the last last week i halved the um task rewards and this is how i know Oh, sorry, the half the guild requirements, guild guild gold requirements for this week. Um, so we're going to have a week of half. Um, so that that means uh, everybody could only has to give two hundred thousand gold this week. And I really wanted everybody to focus on their kingdoms just for a week as a bit of a reward. I myself got blighted lands up to level fourteen, as you see, hooray, uh, which is which is great. Um, I don't have enough writs to get to uh, fifteen yet, but but one day. One day I will. Uh, let me just collect this and remember to collect these as often as you can because every hour those those gems fill up. The gold just you know, trickles through throughout the day. But uh, those gems, every single hour you can pick up gems. So I can get hundreds of gems a day just by logging in. Um, so remember to do that. That's a tip that a lot of people don't know still. Now, anyway, last week I said, uh, at the weekly summary, I said um, half guild requirements this, this week. For concentrate on your kingdoms and what did everybody do let's just let's just go and look at the guild whether you didn't believe me or not i don't know uh, but i suspect it's actually because people didn't look at it but let's just scroll down let's see see, see how many people only gave half requirements nobody yet noitak didn't give any septic void didn't give any tanoka there you go tanoka tanoka maybe listened to the half um hypnotic earthquake didn't didn't even get to the half Ancient Hope and Vlad the Impaler are new, so they don't really count. So, um, uh, clearly nobody listened to what I was saying. Um, now, whether this is just because I typed it, or whether, I don't know what, what. but anyway, I'm trying a new, new format for my weekly summary. This week, however, and if you didn't listen to me last week, it's going to be a surprise to you, but this week the suggested weekly target for gold is going to go up to 500,000. And, and if you scroll down and look at it, most, most people are getting there anyway. Oh, Speaker Town, I bet he heard me. He gave 400,000, but he usually gives a million. I mean, look at his total over, after all, 17 million. Um, everybody's giving over 50, uh, go, giving 
500,000 or thereabouts so far anyway, so it's not as if this is going to be a big change for our guild. I might sneak up the trophies, but I'm not so cared about the trophies. Might sneak up the guild seals, but so long as you reach 40,000 guild seals, it matter to yourself, so I don't really so much care about that either. Um, ranking down the bottom here, we've gone up to six, down to 662, so we've gone up another 35 odd places this week, which is great, we're still rocketing up the rankings. Members 30, we're about to lose, just by looking at that roster quickly, we're about to lose one today, um, possibly two, um, but we get them back pretty quickly, so don't worry about that. Uh, so, right, what do we do for the, for the week? Let's just cruise through and see the events. We've had Guild Wars this week, we of course have done incredibly well yet again, so look at this. Uh, we won the blue one, we won the yellow one, we won the green one, we won the purple one quite convincingly, we won the brown one and it looks like we're on way to winning the red one. So um, with our ranking within the bracket we have hit a million, 1.1 million points. Um, closest, closest opposition, 453,000. So this reinforces that strategy that we use and that strategy is everybody plays. I said at the beginning of the week it's mandatory if you've been in our guild for any length of time you know this is one of the most important parts of the game in my perspective from my perspective so um, we did really really well again this we have been going now for 50 not 50 weeks uh, 46 weeks maybe 47 weeks um, as, a, as a guild and there is only one uh, guild wars that we didn't win and that was when we came second. Um, if you look at the top teams, the top teams are in the are just over the millions. They of course are I know, they're, they're fighting stronger opponents. Um, but you know this is this is the way you have to play if you want to fight fight in the big big leagues. Um, we we're, we're not we're not going to be there for a long 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 time. Don't worry about it. But um, but but you know I, I like the I like playing as if we are. Anyway, Neutak looks like um, as he is on track, or she is on track, I'm not sure, to hit Paragon again by the looks of it. Doing well. Got one game to go. Um, oh, I haven't done it tonight. Oh, well, I'll, I'm about to sit down and do it tonight, but I'm not going to I'm not gonna catch Neutak, so I'll remain, remain uh, below there. Won't be getting the Paragon back. Um, it's doing all right, but we've got some guys here like Lyric An Angelus. Is uh, he's got a good score there? Um, that's that's going to be a tough score to beat. Um, Edward Hopper might reach him. Edward Hopper might. Edward actually might take out take out Noitek, So it's going to be a bit of excitement there. Sparks is Sparks is finished with yeah, yeah almost fifty thousand points. Given given they lost a couple on the on the first round, so that's pretty good. Happy with that, um, and everybody's been doing pretty well, judging by this. We just finished. If you're, if you're getting above forty, if you're getting you know late 30, 30, 30,000s, early forties, you know, and and pretty much everybody's getting that. That's those are those are good scores. You can be happy happy with those scores. Um, uh, Tanaka, there, there, yeah, Tanaka. We're going to come back to this, but after saying it's mandatory, um, Tanaka didn't fight in the last Guild Wars and hasn't fought in the last events at all. So um, we've had a call from a couple of Sentinels to um, say goodbye to Tanaka, even though Tanaka's meeting requirements, Guild requirements, not playing, uh, not playing in the events. And the events are super important as a Guild. So if you're not a team player, you're not a team player. And, you know, I think it's time to go find another guild that might suit you. Um, Lord Redmain, uh, you know, joined a couple of weeks ago, doing damn well there. That's great. Um, Fred, Fred, uh, doing of course, you know, joining us at the beginning of last week and and just really reinvigorating sort of those some of those events, two of those events last week, some awesome stuff. Hypnotic Earthquake, yeah, well, you know, this makes me sad. Hypnotic Earthquake is playing every day. Um, playing in the Guild Wars every day and probably will play tonight. But yet, go back to the, go back to the Guild. Um, looks like he's going to be booted at the end of this video. So pretty sad. 
anyway, that was that. That that's the the Guild Wars. Everybody's done brilliantly except for one person or two people, Septic Void and Tanoka. Um, Septic Void is uh, a good illustration. So Septic Void is one of our founding members, um, and and has been drifting down from Sentinel. Was it? Uh, was right up right up the top here, but drifting down because he hasn't played for um, about a month now. Uh, he's uh, he's logged in a couple of times, but hasn't got any trophies, hasn't donated any gold. So so logged in uh, just to see what was going on and logged out again. But actually hasn't been logging in for the last three weeks. So this is what happens when you when you don't play for ages. You just you just get demoted every week, and and then eventually fall off the bottom. So this is this is there's two ways well, two reasons why I'm describing this is that it's a good thing to go up um, up the ranks um, because it creates a buffer for you if you take a break from the game you'll get demoted a couple of times but you won't get booted out of the guild uh, and Septiboy hasn't played for quite a while won't get booted out of the guild this week will be demoted so will be a, a, a um, recruit and then we'll have like another week's grace. Um, and then that'll be like four or five weeks that hasn't played and gets booted out of the guild. Um, now, if 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 uh, you can't, if, if Septic Void comes back next week, plays a little bit, meets some meets some requirements, then then you're sweet. Now, in reality, so just sorry to harp on about this, but in reality, um, logging in and collecting all the rewards you're getting, um, you know, you get, you don't you only have to log in a few times to get to get enough gold rewards to to actually look as if you're contributing. So to get zeros across the board, to, to I mean, he hasn't got he's had zeros across the board for the last three weeks, but um, and not quite zeros across the board this time. But to get zeros across the board, that's not even logging in at all. So you've kind of given up on the game in my mind. So given up on the game, we, we you know time to move on. So. Um, Terribly sad though, like I said, uh, Septic Void's super important part of this guild has been for a long, long time. Um, I'm, I'm, I, I know Septic Void's on um, Discord, so has told us why he's away, but still you can't, can't stay in a guild getting zeros forever. Um, and uh, not Guest Quake didn't reach gold requirements, and we're pretty strict on that, which is kind of sad because you know, met the seals was in the event, you know, but there you go, knew the, knew the rules. Uh, he's actually been drifting down for a wee while as well, so um, won't, won't come as a surprise really. Um, and welcome to Ancient Hope and Vlad the Impaler. Pala. So hope, hope you, um, Vlad, Vlad the Impaler, hope you um, heard and understood what was going on there. So let's look at promotions, let's, let's go to the good stuff. So obviously no promotion for me, no promotion for Edward. Although he's, you know, oh, I'm trying, I'm trying to catch Edward. He's one six. He's level, he's three levels ahead of me. He has been for a while. He, and it's just slow going up these levels now. It's really hard to catch him. Um, anyway, Edward's Edward's doing brilliantly, and I think he's doing brilliantly in the um, faction assault this weekend. So good on him. Uh, Lyric, uh, of course, doing very well. These are all the, these are all the sentinels. So speaker, holy holy triceratops, lyrical. All these guys have been around for ages. Trev's not quite as, quite as long, but um, you know, ac active actively inputting in, in to everything. Agent, um, agent's been with us right some, right from day one. A hugely important sentinel. Um, and if you know on Discord, you'll know agent. Uh, Fred Fred uh, joining us just a little while ago. Got a bit of a double. Double promotion for such an awesome, awesome effort, but um, uh, and and being you know quite active on chat, but uh, Fred, Fred, we might need you, might need you to uh, be around for a little bit longer to get you up to Sentinel. Sentinel is kind of a exalted position in, in our guild, um, but uh, you, you're certainly certainly on your way there. There's no doubt about that. Um, these guys, so Lex and MT, Ouija, not so not so uh, talkative on Discord and chat, um, but certainly have earned their earned their spots up there. And you can see this by the grayed out numbers down there. Um, and MT brings it has been around for a, a long time, um, uh, and uh, you know all these other commanders. You know they're all in the donations in the millions, so they've they've been around there for ages. Noitech. Um, 
Rotax looking at facing for, is definitely getting a demotion, even though um, Miltech is our um, is our paragon, which is kind of a bit sad, but a um, bit of a lazy paragon because it doesn't fight on the days of the fight, which is kind of interesting. So, it doesn't if you don't fight in the guild wars, you don't don't fight on that particular day. Uh, if you catch up your fights sort of later, retrospectively, they don't add towards a victory. So although it doesn't really matter this week uh, because we've been winning so convincingly, when it, when the fights are close, uh, it does actually matter. So um, there you go. So a demotion for Noitak, uh, no no promotions for the commanders. Nobody there. No no nobody there's active enough. Contributes contributions are fine, but nobody's active enough to become a sentinel. Sentinels to me are uh, people who are just really completely invested in the guild and talk all the time and give advice and you, and you know who they are. You just have to look at chat and and you know it's you know Edward and Lyric and um, Agent and you know the, the the guys the guys up here Holy Triceratops. He's always talking and giving advice and um, you know Speaker Town more on Discord but uh, you know Trev D's definitely on chat. All these guys you see all the time. And and that's what I'm looking for to to push you up from commander to sentinel. Um, so none of these these guys really get that. So no promotions there. Uh, one demotion. Let me just write this down so I remember afterwards. So one demotion. Um, third line. Um, you know, do, doing really well uh, on legionnaire. Probably probably ready to go up to commander, but. Um, you know, to go up to commander, we're looking at some sort of really awesome week in an, an event, so a, a, a great first in an event or something like that, or or of course, um, you know, a, a, a commander level of um, uh, donations here. So six or seven hundred thousand donations. So if third line wants to get up, then then that's what they'll need to do. Sceptre Void's going to go down, like I said. Um, so as you say, stays the same. Crazy Gamer, uh, I, I only knew a couple of weeks ago. So uh, Crazy Gamer is doing really well, staying at Legionnaire there, Saint Libra. Saint Libra is really active, and particularly in the events. Um, uh, the, these guys here, these these Legionnaires here, are all doing just really brilliantly. Um, but none none here really standing out enough to get up to up to the next level just yet will do in, in due course I'm sure Sparks of course for those who don't know already so just full disclosure here Sparks is my son um, Sparks is Sparks is young and that's why he uh, isn't on chat I don't think uh, even um, uh, the, the settings on his iPad won't let him uh, go on chat so that's why Sparks isn't on chat so Sparks will never make it above Legionnaire unfortunately um, but there you go He's been he's been working hard on his guild wars and stressing over teams and stuff this week, so he's he's pretty happy. Um, and he did spend a bit of time getting uh, a couple of Magic Kingdoms up to ten, so um, good week for him. Uh, Tanoka, uh, actually that's Tanoka. Like I said, that's um, probably those uh, uh, non 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 playing and events are going to lead to a kicking. But I'll talk to the Sentinels about that. Um, that could be that could be all over. Hypnotic is a no-brainer. That's he's going to go because just hasn't hasn't reached that target. Um, and welcome to Ancient Hope and Vladimir Paler. Paler, you don't um, you, you don't get promoted this week, but uh, hit those hit those weekly targets and you'll be up and you'll be safe from being booted. So welcome to the team. There'll be another couple uh, this week, and that's how I do it. So I run through the list. Um, make some decisions, write them down, uh, and, and blurt them out. So next week, uh, so Guild Wars, we're going to say goodbye to Guild Wars. Um, let's just quickly talk about tasks. Um, tasks have become an interesting thing in our guild because we just do them really fast now. Um, so we complete these tasks. Still important to do it in the correct order because the tasks rewards, the task rewards that you see there last for seven days after you complete the task. So uh, we usually now complete um, red, blue, and green on the first day, um, then straggle through sort of yellow, purple, and brown in the next few days after that. So you you got to kind of do them in the. Oh, sorry, we do purple first. We go purple. Um, we complete purple like minutes after reset. We complete blue about an hour after reset, um, and then we start working on red and sometimes get that done 
um, on the same day. So those ones go through, they'll run out tomorrow, but we'll, we'll um, build them up again and, and re renew them, and then the others dribble through. So it's still important to do them in the same order, so you know which one to do because they're, they're glowing. Um, we don't have any glowing at the moment because I switched it off for the epic tasks. We don't currently have a plan for the epic tasks. I hate epic red tasks. I never really want to see those ever done because they're just really terrible. Epic green tasks are OJ, OJAA17, one of our members, um, completely convinced me that writs are a good thing to collect. Um, you have to collect millions of them to be able to put your kingdoms up. But um, and, and if you only collected them in this manner, then they, it would take you years and years to get your magic kingdoms up. But the reality is... Um, you get a full deed at the end of that epic task and you get deeds in the daily tasks. So so you, uh, of, of the epic tasks, that's the best one to do. Um, it's, it's a, unfortunately, when you complete it, it just gives you a bonus to defense, which is not brilliant. The epic purple task, if you complete that, it gives you, um, it gives you a magic bonus for a week. But actually, you know, a lot of the a lot of the rewards are to do with pet food, white pet food. So who cares? Oh my word, so much gold for just pet food and keys. Um, so I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm not, I just don't have a strategy for the epic tasks yet, and I don't have it really until our guild is so strong that they're completing, that we're completing them all. Um, I don't really see any point in doing any but the epic greens until then. I mean, epic browns are completely worthless. You know, there's some keys in there, which is great, but, oh my god, e gosh, epics, goodness me. I mean, no, sorry, the ingots are terrible. I mean, it, you know, you guys you guys should have so many ingots. I don't, I mean, I don't know how many, you know, how, how many... How many ingots do you guys have? I don't know. That's I don't even I don't even know how many how many ingots would I have? Two hundred and thirty-nine of those ingots. Yeah. How many ingots of these have I got? Five hundred and eleven. You just you just don't need them. I mean, legendary. Oh, I've got a thousand legendary. You, you know, it gets to a point where you just don't care about these things. So. The, uh, it, it baffles me that they're even, um, you know, baffles me that they're even part of the part of the reward system. Three three thousand ingots there, you just don't need them. Um, so, anyway, epic tasks are something that uh, I don't really care much about. So, um, in that in that vein, um, contribute early in the week. Contribute gold early in the week. Don't leave it to the weekend. As you see, you know, these guys have got a day's le day left. I mean, if we left it right to the end of the wire, possibly, um, you know, you might be able to give the minimum requirement and thereby stay another week. But if you've left it to the end of the wire, you're not committed to staying in the guild. You're not really interested in the game. And that's, and that's the message, isn't it? The message that you're sending everybody. So I think that's all I wanted to say this week. Next week we are going into um, one of those... Um, or is it one of those a world events? Um, a world events, so the it's, it's for the whole guild. Um, so that's that's a, that's one we'll be trying to get to the end of. Fred Fred showed us we could do it. So and and then we've done it in the events since. So let's let's try to get to the end of that guild. Everybody helps everybody. Um, this week you can keep on trying for that mythic troop, Psychorax. Uh, um, and you can keep on if you open glory gem and guild chests uh until next friday uh, it is actually the only mythic that you will win so you so if you've already got one don't open any of those keys during this week because you won't win a different mythic um the only reason you would want to do that if you if you if if you were going to uh, the only the only reason that you'd want to try for, for open more keys would be to get a second Psychorax. Um, now a, a second Psychorax is that is that a clever thing? Um, you, you know, perhaps it is. <laughs> because I have um, made this team. I'm really proud of it. Um, 
because I didn't read this anywhere. Usually, I f usually all my teams have been found somewhere else. But um, yeah, this, this I, I tried to make. Uh, I tried to think of how Psychorax could be turned into a card like Shabani Vespera, which is a really good card. Um, and the only reason, the only way I could think of how that could happen is to to use two. And using two, it pretty much becomes um, a, a, a brown um, Shibani Vespera because add Mountain Crusher, add Titan, uh, add a, a plus two from your banner, and you, you fill Psychorax really quickly. Um, Psychorax then starts looping, um, and because I've got no none of them do damage, so Mountain Crusher and Psychorax don't do damage, they just they just um, explode or spawn gems uh, and if you're lucky you get some good falls and you get a um, get some skulls so uh, they don't do damage so you need a card for damage and Mistralis does damage only a little bit but it has an extra turn so once you get Psychorax firing you you choose always choose blacks a uh, brown sorry always choose brown and it will just recharge everything every round and um, so so you, you you kind of get to this point really quickly because mountain crush is very fast and titan and and that and the kraken banner get you up there fast too so very quickly you get into a loop where you just end up firing um Sycorax and then mistralis and Sycorax and mistralis and Sycorax and mistralis and it just keeps on going it doesn't break so uh, the enemy never gets a turn and you you have, i made a video of this you can also see it on youtube um how good that is and you can pretty much take out any team of any strength um, because all that matters is you're, you you go faster than them at the beginning so in that sense it's a little bit like the skeleton key team but um, <laughs> that would be one thing to you know one reason to go for a second Sycorax but you know who yeah who really has time for that and or resources for that and needs that um, and that's the, my last thing to say today. I'm really keen to hear of single Psychorax teams. Uh, it looks like it should be really cool, but I've racked my brains over to over over how to um, how to use that. So anyway, have a good week. I know this is a long video. You don't have to watch all of these. In fact, you don't have to watch them at all. Um, it's just that uh, this information gets lost if I put it in put it in the chat. So good luck for the week. Play the event, have fun. Thank you very much. You're making this game awesome. Glad you're all part of my guild, um, or our guild, because it really is. It really is our guild. And um, now, you, now you know how I promote and demote. So it's 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 us. Uh, see see you in chat. Have a good week.